Okay, I mean, can you is oh how far out we are much too much? We are too much too much to swim. Bah, the money I carry is that. We are coma with negative family side. Okay, you come away. One day, keep our eyes on Jesus. You are this side. Sakaling kada Allah waza kamara wawa. Eh? One day, we are coming. So I get some more to get you out. شرح الرسالة الحقوق نعم مزين الأبدين شرح الرسالة عن حقوق إن إمام مزين الأبدين إمام إنه هو درجة كين إمامه يا كوي أمانة جبار إن دامي يوم أمانة دكوا دكوا إن دامي يوم أمانة دمقوتا وند شنيك كلام تا هالين يزش أي كيسا وما إن دامي يوم أمانة دا وند سكشو جبار نمو إن دامي وند شو جبار نداس يوم أمانة دا وند يك تلاكا ما أنا وند يك شو جبار شيء مأمانة سوجا وند يك سوجا Adeke kara kasa neke kara bodo jeng alu umamu ilmu amalan sadabende ya hukan sakai Hakin dukia Hakin ya ya akan ya ya Hakin ya ya akan ya ya Ansu zaka tarada chua zantikar Ili dayane Da saurang abunda yike chana jaya chikinda chitafai Bambanchi shine mumuna Mumun pahada hangka lemu akan wana Fiyada masaluri nalalabada sabani Da haka na Mu amala shia shine mu amalar Kaunar juna Muamalar gir mama mutani, muamalar biaya gasu gubani, dokok ada tabat ada cuaca senada sena adal si, muamalar ada cuaca gasu gubani si kok ada yang adal si mawan ada sikit gasu gubani, muamalar mak oci ya, temak ya, abin nang ya, kau cipta mama kucing sa, anda mazan Allah, wana raga cikin sa habu mazan Allah na cua, mazan Allah begu sebe na mana osi cida mak oci, har se se dama ke zaman mak oci zega jema kucing sa. Due to the developmental programs of the Buhari administration, the Rasulil Aazam Foundation has thrown its weight behind the 4 plus 4 movement and fully support the re-election of APC government to the next level. Supo pia wa inaenda tapo pata, nchi akwe wosuno ina mtaani, wada no in kamala sikuwe, idansi kaza mshua gavani alomba, yana rege la la chiwa diwa, wosmuta na hakasi, sabo demi, kome hidani, yaza mana ya lansa, yaza mana shi akangkanya mto mumbazani, mto ni mara kama mke, mto ni onda baida mto nchi. Tu zaka samu ini ya lengi dan deki jauh goreng si terasa sulit. Amat ada samu ini kita one day juga bangun lengi dan me amanah ni. Ba acaba goda saya akan amanah akan gaya cuma. Ba saya si dek adi apa? Tiend one day tinggal bangsa sa harap tim abu yang aku ini. Kuma mana dah di sini kama aki? Yang aku cewa one day loko cewa muncul si tegas kia. Yang cewa kui gas kia, kui gas kia. Mutum bazar gusi wena keski harsi anu udah jawab dengan Allah bin Zaid. Salam ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Salam ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Kamu yang dicek aku gugik aja. Mutum bazar gusi wena kerja, wena kerja harsi anu udah jawab dengan Allah makarici. Si Allah bazar warna, si Allah ummat tu sesama. So dia wah Allah dia kenci Allah ummat dunia sunyi si dunia Allah alaiya. Bawa dengan Allah dia seniwa. Allah yang apa zaman? Saya zaman lagi awal semua tak ni orang dah degan orang nak macam tu. Kekal zaman zaman kahat aja ni orang ni. Ni fire ni Nigeria ayo. Ina degan orang macam tu naya ada quality dah tahu ada suka gawai. Cikak sana nampak orang ni tara, syarudda nak kamala, amutun cida, amutun takak kamu orang ni. Bawa Allah bawa malu bahar. Bawa esok tu dia nak nam yang kembali, kamu fela ni, house fela ni ni yang sabar agak sikit. Wanda ni zaman zaman kamu. Masu mungkin sih masu hangkali masih kisah kasar dengan pangkaloni depan depan dan aja ya di sumpah yang cakap. Kau mai apa dah? Ya uku abang deh para agam netun soja wani yang kini aku bayi si T T M. Ko? Ko bayi mana tu? Tu wani kerum rawan dewa Allah dan bintang kau. Rara rara ni, bawa ibu tu aku rasa. Rara, daraan nang sega jawab Allah nang ko sambung nacang abah jawab wana abu dah ke enuna wa ayangzu ay alfaidin deh kamu wan nerara jawab Allah nang ini. Ya tak ka anggeli, so pada kamu nang kau yang kasar dah sekarang bahsuan nang damadi ya kamu lah awal deh far. 
komezo ya zukodje na sorara gerere video ya jamus sana bayani ne akan nau in noma suka ce yanzu mun shiga ya tabbatar da kashi 80 bisa 100 na shinkafar da dai na Najeriya suke suwa a waje yanzu a cikin shinkafar gida suke ci daga zuwa wannan gwamnati yanzu wannan bai san misali ba ga wanda ya san tarihin kasa din shekaru kaman hudu baya ba sai mun yi ba da yawa ba ya san da abubuwa suka su kurkuce a kasa ta fuskoki daban-daban ta fuskar handama sace-sace da almundahana da warwashe kudin al'umma warwashe baitul malam al'umma ya kai majohi da yawa ba sa iya ba da albashi shi shugaban kasa PMB yazo sai ga shi wanda ke bin wannan abubuwa ya ga sauyi sosai ya ga dai asusun mai yanzu an yi masa abun nan tattali an gyara bakin asusu din daidai gurgudo albashi ana bayarwa ko da ba a bayarwa ba dai daga matsalolin federal ba lantarki daidai gurgudo ana kokari gona kyan mu masu tafiya haji cikin manoma dai suna da yawa don kwanaki mun je mali da suke ba mu labari inda suka san darajar noma a karkashin wannan gwamnati din so mu muna fatan dukkan irin wannan gwamnatoci da zasu zaman to masu kishin kasa masu tausayin talaka muna tare da su muna kuma masa fatan alheri Allah ya bashi dawowa ya dora akan aikin da ya fara insha Allah mu yan arewa dukkan mu muna san irin wannan ci gaba da dan arewa zai iya kawo mana ba sai mun samu wani na nesa ya zo ina mai da mu kaman ba ya a kasar mu ba ban ga abun da ya raba buhari da yazidu ba wancan yazidun zamanin imam husain wannan yazidun zamanin maulana musharaku din malam sa sake abun da muke gani goma ga ashura mu zabura mu cika abuja mu zama ɗaya na halaki dama babbakun kaya baka zuciya kuma da son sha'ada magoya baya akwai kusan wayan da abin da ya faru a zariya ya zuwa suka dan ja baya da gwamnatin PMB amma sauran an ja fari din kusan suna da hange din ga irin ci gaba da aka samu so wayannan wanda ya zaman to waƙa ta zariya ta sa sun ja baya muna kira gare su da a zo abin da ake kira tafawut wato negotiation a tattauna akwai abin da suke bukata a wurin shi PMB akwai abin da shi ma PMB yake nema su kiyaye so mu a fiki hu mu tattauna bai taba zama laifi ba mun ga yanda Iran ta tattauna kusan shekara takwas da manyan kasashen abunan duniya wanda ake ce 5+1 har da jami'a ciki mun ga yanda a yanzu ma takan tattauna da turai har yanzu akan nuclear sannan manzazzira nuna mana yanda za ka iya sulhu ko da tsakanin wanda yake musulmi ne da wanda ba musulmi ba sai da lokacin da abuwa suka turnike ba wuta da wuta ake amfani da su wato wuta ba ta taba kashe wuta amma kuma za a iya zubar wannan sanya akan wuta so negotiation tattauna mufawadat muna fata PMB zai da dabudawa sosai a tattauna da sauran bangare din domin ya ci babu hamayya insha Allah Allah ya taimaka saboda marama abin da aka yi mana a badar da gulai zanga zanga kala biti akwai talumana wacce ta dace da doka da oda wanda yanci na demokradiya alatashi wanda a gwamnatin ce in an bi doka da oda ba ta da matsala akwai wanda ta sabawa hakan 
to mu abin da muke cewa lalle wanda ka saba ta haifar da mushkila babba kuma mun bi kowa cintuwa muni farkon wanda muka yi ta kokarin mu shiryar da yan uwanmu cewa a hukunci na fiki hun shi a bai halatta saba tsaye da doka wanda yake gudana mu a wajen mu hatta wanda ya shafi ƙetare titi wannan fitulun da suke tsayarwa malaman mu sun yi rubutu akai saboda mushtahide ne suna da nan a ransu kamar su imamu maliki wanda a maliki a kilan sai dai malamai da suke gujurowa yanzu shi ya rasu amma yanzu ana bin malikiya to mu akwai irin su imamu maliki da ransu yanzu aka sun muke cewa maraji suna lura da sabon masala da menene ake bukata dukan su sun yi rubutu akan wajen cin bin tsari na dokokin kasa haramun ne saba to ka ta kasa wanda yake gudanar da rayuwa so lokacin da mutun ya zo ya shiga hanyar mu zara ba tare da doka ba ba tare da neman izini ba to haikin al'umma ne da yawa zai haifar da matsala saboda akwai masu kula da wannan yanayin in sun ba da izini to za su fito da hanyoyin wa'anda za su yi amfani da wannan hanyar a ba su kaya mu ne ta tutun da mu sosai ina dai daga cikin abin da haifar da rashin fahimta da wannan lokaci mu ma muna tare da ayi al'umman gari mukan shiga motoci muna tare da mutane iyalan mu suna tafiya unguwa za ka ji irin zagin da ake wayan shi a sakamakon sun je sun tara hanya alhali wannan abin an kasance ana yin shi tun kafin shi an ji so yan uwan mu wayan da suke yin irin wayan mu zaharorin sun fara su sama da shekara 30 suka wuce sama da haka ne to kuma lokacin da suke wannan ba yan shi a bane hatiman shi an ci a cikin su ya faro ne officially daga 1996 shine lokacin da malamin su ya fito ya declare shi cewa ya zama shi to amma kowa ya san tafiya su ta dake saboda haka ba shi an ci bane koyar da wannan amma daga lokacin da suka fara yi da sunan shi an ci musamman abin da ya haifar da matsalan tattaki wanda ya kama daga gari zuwa gari shi ya fi haifar mana da matsala wanda mun dade mura tattaunawa da su akan wannan cewa mu a iya sanin mu wannan dogon tattaki in banda karbala ma ba mu ga inda ake yi shi ba duk duniya daga gari zuwa gari hatta a irin ba ai wani daga wani gari a taka zuwa wani abu Imam Hussein ne wanda abun ya shafe shi shi ma tattakin bai fi kilomita 80 ba yawanci za a ga daga Karbala daga Najaf zuwa Karbala tafiyar da aka dinga yake nan amma dan tattaki daga unguwa zuwa wata unguwa aka yi amma shi ma duk inda ka ga in shi a sunyi wannan neman izini suke suka je su neman izini a wajen mahukunta kuma mun dade muna tattauna da yan uwan mu a cikin gida kan cewa su ko kai su mu doka ga inda bi kan mai fada sai dai mun dade muna fama da su kuma muna fata insha Allah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala zai taimaka mana wajen ganin mun yardar da su kan muhimmancin bin doka da wannan musulunci yana da amsa ga irin matsalolin zaman takewa yana da amsa ga irin dokokin da za a sako ko bai da amsa da irin dokokin da yana da amsa a irin wannan tsari na na gamayya tsari na hadaka abin da zai hada kan kasa shine muhimmi dan haka muke kiran dukkan masoya da mabiya shi an ji ya zaman to abin da zai hada kan kasa gaba daya su zo su hade su ma su shiga haka magabatan mu suka yi akan haka ne zamu girmama almu'minu inda sharrihi mu'mini yana nan a sharrin sa a wannan yarjejeniya ya tsakanin shi da wani dan haka muke kiran dukkan al'umma musamman mabiya ahlul bayt alayhi wasallam musamman yan shi a kasar nan su fahimci wannan fikir musamman kuma bangaren yan uwa na gogor maya bangaren yan uwa mabiya ibrahim alzazaki muna kiran su da su su rungume zaman lafiya su kuma rungume hanyoyi na lamana su kuma bude kofofi na zaman takewa tare da wa'anda suke su sabani da su sabanin fahimta da su ya zaman to kullun tattaunawa shine maganin hanyi maganin duwa ta duwa ta matsala kasar nan an ta naji dokokin ta ne akan aba kowa hakin addini aka ba a mutunta kowa a mutunta akidar kowa saboda haka ba gina ta akan asasin addini ba tana mutunta dukkan wato ba gina ta akan wani addini guda daya ba tana gina dukkan addinan mutane tana karban dukkan addinan mutane dan haka ya kamata ya zamanto 
waɗannan mutane ya kamata ya zamanto musulmi gaba da yansu sun zamanto abu guda ɗaya suke mabiya a halbeci sun zamanto sun rungume zaman lafiya sun zamanto kuma sun rungume tsari in kana san gyara ka ba tsari na da mukuradiya malaman mu ba su haramta mana tsarin da mukuradiya ba a fikihin mu ba haramta mana tsarin da mukuradiya ba mumkin da muke yi da tsari da lokacin da aka zo da gyara sai an san matsala kuma yan umma in shi a mu ne muka taka sa The ancient city of Ambari in Kumbo, the local government of Kano State, serves as the host city for the Rasul Azam Foundation. <laughs> Security <laughs> So in Nambaraza, the Skasa Abai Shi PM made the Dum Sambaraza in Tanada Yawasu say. The Tabuska Soro Munga Pokarinsu Shikuma VP Akasaman Loka Chi PM B by an Ishi Kara Kasat and Kuma Kasata to Kalafia, Kuma the Ario Chid in the Pudan Chidukanim Mukahadi, the Sora Banga in Kasamu at the Atapotari, or to the very head of Aoshi Hamad is the Rambanga in a Kasati. Muna kara godia ga shi me ba shugaban kasa shawara a kan halkokin tsaro wato wanda yake shi ne major general ba bagana mangunu mai retire a kan irin kokarin da yake yi na hado kan kungiyoyin addini don ganin sun tabbatar da lumana da zaman lafiya da yanda mu ma ya shiga da mu cikin wayannan kungiyoyi na addini ba tare da bambanci ba a lokacin da ya fahimci irin tafiyar mu da irin yanda muke lamuran mu ya kuma ba mu sha ruwari tare da sauran kungiyoyin addini gaba da Allah ubangiji ya saka masa da alkhairi muna godiya kan wannan lalle ba Allah ya takarwa an gani saboda dai da gaskiya abubuwan shine wannan dai tsaron da muka gani yau da muke harka ta karantarwa da abin da ya shafi taruruka mun fi kowa fahimta irin rawar da babu Allah ne ya taka ga abin da ya shafi idan Kano muke raye a Kano za ka ga irin matsalan menene road block checking point da brigichi da mutum yake ciki duk lokacin da ka samu kanka a Boslo kana cikin tashi hankali mun ga irin abin da ya faru a shekaru gwamnatin baya mun ga irin bayan Allah na lokacin da suka zo suka samu kasar nan a irin wannan tarwatsewa lalle mutumin ya nuna cewa jajjitance ne mun ja ce tsohon general ne ko na soja to ya nuna general ne kuma zakakuri ne mai kishin kasa kishin kasa shine yasa ya iya bi da abubuwa da yawa ya iya ya dake da abubuwa da yawa na harkar mushkilolin tsaro shi ma muna mai fata alheri muna fata har wannan ayyukan da suka fara 
sutuwi saboda matakar wannan abin ya ci gaba har Allah ya taimake mu aka samu shekara 8 sun sai ta kasan fuke duk wanda za su zo daga baya bi izinillahi za su dora so ka tammu wannan ofishi naji ya daure mun ga wanda wa'aicin suke kuskure ba kawai ba su taimaka bane a a gudun da aka ba ma amana ya amfani da shi a sai makani dan a taimake mutane wani yake fito da magana ya ce kusan dala biliyan biman aka wari dan makamai wasu suka siyar musamman su san me ya faru to sai ga wannan ofishin tun da yazo kokari ake yi tare da sun karbi kasar lokacin da kasar kusan ba ta da komai amma suka iya suka isar da al'amari zuwa yanda yake a yau lalle muna musu jinjina muna fata Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ya ba su nasara ya kara musu ƙarin gwiwa akan abin da suke yi na samun da tsawo A warm welcome to the news at 7 on NCA International. We're reaching you live from Abuja, Nigeria's capital. I am Muspal and we'll have first the headlines. President Buhari says a policy program without fighting corruption at its core is destined to fail. Supporters in Zamfara State urge to maintain peace as INEC said to resolve governorship in Paris amicably. Plus information and culture minister like Mohammed says reports of Leah Sharibu's death is a complete fake news. Now the news goes over the capital of Zamfara State was agog as party supporters trooped out on mass to give the APC presidential campaign team a befitting reception. President Mohammed Buhari therefore appealed to the people to be law abiding and support whoever emerges as a party's governorship candidate in the state. Salihu Abdullahi reports. The APC presidential campaign train was in Zamfara State with a lot of campaign messages and a reminder that so much has been achieved in actualizing the party's agenda within the first tenure of the Buhari administration. Government efforts on ensuring peace across the country, among other issues, formed highlights of the campaign. It has approved that we take the railway from Kasena to Guzo. It will have railway from Kasena to Guzo, from Guzo to Sokoto, from Sokoto to Kebi. At the Nigeria people will never allow anybody whose primary purpose is self-enrichment or enrichment of his family members. APC! Yes, President Muhammad Buhari assured the people that pending legal issues on the state governorship primary election will be resolved in the interest of all. I took an oath of office that I will remain honest and truthful and I will not take what does not belong to me. And whoever I see as corrupt, I will make sure the law takes its course. The party governorship primary elections result is being challenged in the courts. We are working to make sure the issue is resolved before elections. The people of Zamfara State have been encouraged to convert their number to votes for the success of APC in the forthcoming elections. Salihu Abdullahi, NCA News. 
discharged traditional rulers in Zamfara State to do more in curbing banditry and kidnapping in their communities, saying that he felt disappointed that people close to some of them were found to have hand in such criminality. Speaking at a meeting with the Royal Fathers in the Government House on Sunday, as part of the ongoing campaigns, the president expressed determination of his administration to defend the country from criminals and insurgents, referring to the deployment of a large number of security personnel to the state. President Buhari said the security is also the business of the traditional rulers, not that not that of the police and other security agencies alone. President Buhari commended the gallantry particularly by subduing the notorious self-styled Buhari Daji. President Buhari said he was contesting this election as his fifth and the last because, as he noted, a second term is what the Constitution allows. And I will not, he said in a quote, I will not abuse the Constitution. He thanked the Royal Fathers for their support he enjoyed so far and appealed to them to back his re-elections. Now, less than a week to the presidential election, coalition of aggrieved Atiku support group has formally declared support for the re-election bid of President Mohamed Buhari, receiving them in Abuja Chairman Central Working Committee of the APC Women and Youth Presidential Campaign Council Mohamed Buba Marwa described their action as timely. Salihu Abdullahi reports. Leader of the aggrieved support groups, Bello God's Power says his members, mostly youths and women, have decided to support President Muhammad Buhari because of his youth-friendly agenda as demonstrated in his first tenure in office. Our decision to formally declare support for President Muhammad Buhari in the election is for national interest and his ability to reject the governance system that he title occasioned with corruption activities under the 16 years misrule. Brigadier General Muhammad Ububa Marwa said the coalition of more than 145 support groups will be integrated into the existing ones. To campaign from dawn to dawn, taking full advantage of what you know of the government and performance of President Buhari. He urged them to work in harmony to actualize the re-election bid of President Buhari and all APC candidates in the forthcoming polls. In Abuja, Salihu Abdullahi, NTA News. Information and Culture Minister Lai Mohammed has described as untrue the news making the rounds that Leah Sharibu, one of the kidnapped Dapchi schoolgirls still in captivity in the hands of Boko Haram, is dead. The minister debunked the claim in Ilori, the Quara state capital, where briefing newsmen on the state of preparedness ahead of President Mohamed Buhari's campaign visit to the state on Monday. Anthony Forsin reports. Okay. On that report, and we'll bring the report to you in our subsequent bulletins. President Mohamed Buhari said that he has tried to judiciously exercise the trust invested in him to combat the problem of corruption, insecurity, and developing the economy. The president who said all these are on the scale of preference was quick to point out that nipping corruption in the board is priority. President Buhari decried the spate of corruption in the country even as 2019 general elections draw nearer, reiterating that any policy program that does not have fighting corruption as its core is destined to fail. He noted that the battle against graft must be the base of ease of which the country is secured, building the economy and producing decent infrastructure as well as educate the next generation. The president also expressed worry over the concerns raised by the Economy and, Cor and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, over laundered money being uh, funneled into voting, vote buying. President Buhari said this illustrates how corruption locks 
in every concern of public life, particularly the manipulation of due process in pursuit of self-preservation. President Buhari concluded by saying without any doubt, the present administration has succeeded in changing the way corruption is being tackled in Nigeria and urged the electorate to give him their mandates in the February 16th presidential election so that together they can collectively take Nigeria to the next level. Valuable election materials, including over 5,900 voter cards, have been destroyed following a fire incident that engulfed the INEC office in Kwan and Pan local government area of Plateau State. Head Voter Education and Publicity INEC of Plateau State, who confirmed the incident, told NTA News that uh, although the incident was a major setback in the election, Preparation will, however, not uh, be affected as the election will be conducted uh, in the area. We'll bring that report to you in our subsequent bulletins. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has urged a federal high court sitting in Mina, Niger State, to abridge an earlier adjournment in the ongoing money laundry case involving the former governor of Niger State, Muhazu Babangida Aliyu, and the state PDP standard bearer, Omar Mohamed Nasko. Mokhtar Abubakar Wawo has the reports. It will be recalled that the court in December 2018 ordered the issuance of hearing notice to the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, following the sequential absence of its counsel without any correspondence. The court, however, reconvened following an application filed by EFCC counsel asking the court to bring forward the earlier date fixed for the continuation of hearing. The EFCC counsel argued that the adjournment violated the provision of Administration of Criminal Justice Act, which prescribed number of days criminal matter can be adjourned. That an adjournment in the criminal trial commenced under the Administration of Criminal Justice Act should be from day to day, or when it is not practicable to do so, not more than 14 days. The defense counsel counter the EFCC's application challenging the competence of the council to move the application, arguing that he did not for once appear in the matter. As such, the defense urged the court to dismiss the application of counsel to the EFCC. There appears to be no nexus between them and the, prosecution, and the prosecutor of this matter. And that was why we had to call for their authority to bring us to court today. While replying on point of law, the EFCC counsel argued that the defense has no business to inquire his authority. The presiding judge, Justice Yelim Bagoro, slated the 6th and 7th of March for ruling and continuation of hearing, while she informed counsel that she is managing three courts across the country. In Mina, Mukhtar Abubakar, NTA News. The wide acceptability of commercial tricycles and motorcycles in Nigeria could generally be attributed to its inherent advantages of door-to-door -door service, ability to maneuver during the traffic congestion, and ease of responsiveness to demand, among others. They should vote for President Muhammad Buhari for second time in office because uh, it's not that whether someone cater for our peculiar need by empowering us, but so far they give us the uh, enabling environment to plight our trade. It's more than diamond and good. Yes, we need to reciprocate a good deed back. And with the integrity of the President Muhammad Buhari, we need a people like him to move Nigeria to promised land. Thus, commercial tricycle and motorcycle owners in the FCT are appealing to 
it, their members to not to allow themselves to be used by politicians to foment trouble and express support for the re-election bid of President Mohamed Buhari. They also encouraged all those who are registered but yet to collect their permanent voters card to see the opportunity of the three-day extension for INEC to get their PVCs and vote. The National Emergency Reports say three persons lost their lives and property, including food items of the IDPs, were destroyed. This emergency meeting by NEMA is at the instance of the situation in Munguno IDP camp to immediately provide succor to the IDPs who also double as the victims of the fire disaster. They need shelter. They also need uh, food. Uh, food arrangement has been made. The shelter we have discussed extensively with the manufacturers. We are moving from Monday about 184 uh, tents, holding average of 15 to 20 people. And we are happy to partner to alleviate the suffering of this IDPs. And we are going to work 24-7 to make sure that we provide the shelter at the shortest possible time. The agency also promised to always respond promptly to any incidences of disaster across the country. For 16 years, the Federal Housing Authority The Nigerian capital Abuja is still reeling from Monday morning's rush hour bomb. If the group did carry out the attack, it would be one of its worst. Two suicide bombings in Nigeria. One targeted a convoy carrying Nigeria's main opposition leader. Gun attack on the central mosque in North Nigeria's biggest city, Kano. Thanks a lot for staying tuned in to the news at 7 on NCA International. Morris, the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development has promised to complete 6 km Toru Ebene Road in Sagbama local government area of Bayosa State. Minister of State for Agriculture and Rural Development, Senator Henneke Lokobiri, made this promise while inspecting project sites in the area. I uh, press the report that the minister inaugurates minister, uh, solar lights and water projects in some communities in Sagbama local government area of the state. Network is a basic infrastructural asset required to improve the socioeconomic condition of our people. Communities like Toribeni, Akide and Okumbri, which are largely agrarian, need efficient road infrastructure for easy evacuation of their farm produce to ready markets in the upland. This explains the joy and appreciation of the paramount ruler of Toribeni, his rural island Silfa Tratron Bina, and his subjects over the ongoing six kilometer road project. You must think of network of road for easy communication. Fact, this road connects us to national gate. We can travel at any time. Uh, commodities can go out, can come in. When we carry plantain, when we cut and cut is the whole road, then go carry bike on, carry and cut. Mm, it will meet me uh, many goods. I will drive safely. Yes, I'm feeling to my baby. But I carry at this. We actually cleared the road before now. But you know, grasses grew and all that. We need to brush it off again. So that's what we are doing on that axis. How this uh, solar light be for this time? Mm, we appreciate it. And it's working well. The Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development with a mandate for rural electrification, provision of basic portable water, and road development is committed to the fulfillment of this mandate. The delivery of these basic social infrastructures is thus targeted at improving the living condition 
of the people at the grassroots. In the hospitals where our patients have been attended to, there has been no power supply. So what we did was to provide solar power in batteries so that 24 hours they will have light and be able to load. Uh, the Torebeni Road is expected to be extended to communities in a Kerimun local government area as well in due course. From Torebeni in Sabama local government area, Aya, Prezi, NT News. And to the far north, wife of the president, Aisha Mohammed Buhari, has assured youth and women in support to states of more social investment programs. She gave the assurance of empowerment program of 10,000 women and youth under the National Directorate of Empowerment, NDE, in Sokoto. Shehu Mohammed Dati completes the report. The 10,000 women and youths were trained through collaborative effort would feature a short initiative and Senator Aliu Magatekadwamoku. They were trained in welding, interlocking, and electrical insulation, among others. The idea is to ensure that women and youths are taken away from all forms of social vices. Wife of the President Aisha Muhammad Buhari was represented by former Deputy Governor of Plateau State, Mrs. Dem Pauline Tarling. The right way to, uh, thing to do is to invest in the welfare of the people. Over 17,000 youths and women benefited from the empowerment programs, while 5,000 are to benefit from soft loan of 500,000 Naira each. We believe that we have a duty that every Nigerian benefits from the government and all the other. The beneficiaries were well trained to compete with their counterparts within and outside the country. We have done it before. This is our first time of coming to Sokoto. This time we are empowering about 10,000. But this one is just symbolic, the 800 of them that were given sewing machines, cosmetology packs, and the rest of them. In fact, 1,500 to start with. The beneficiaries express gratitude and pledge judicial use of the materials given to them. In Sakwato, Show Muhammad Dekti, NTA News. The Nigerian Institute of Public Relations, NIPR, says it is set to be strict on the enforcement of a provision of its acts towards criminalizing the current practice where non-public relations practitioners are appointed as spokespersons in government offices and organizations. President of the Institute, Mokhtar Sirajo Service in Abuja, at the inauguration of the Council Committee, Adebola Brooklyn Sunday, reports. These are some of the information managers that have become members of the NIPR. After the induction, the president inaugurated nine committees with NTA's Cecil Egbele as one of the members of the Corporate Governance Committee. Globally, public affairs and political communication is regarded as a very serious and sensitive business. Therefore, only trained and certified public relations professionals are invited and asked to deliver the needed quality service in this regard. Former Director General of the NTA, Tony Redia, who heads the Policy and Strategy Committee on behalf of other committee chairmen, emphasized more on eliminating quackery in the profession. Somebody has nothing to do with you, and you make him a fellow because of what you can get from him. He's a senior quack. We have a, a, a compliance committee now that will be able to enhance this aspect of it because if you are not a professional member of an NPR, you are a quack, you will not deliver well and communication will be affected. Established in 1963, the Institute has the mandate to regulate practice of public relations as a profession in Nigeria. Adebola, Brooklyn Sunday, NGA News. And now let's join Adamo Ado also for the word in six days. Hello and warm welcome to this segment of the news. It is a review of major international news reports during the week. And we begin with Burkina Faso where the armed forces there killed 146 militants in operations in the country's northwest following massacre at a village on Monday. The onslaught, including air support, also targeted Ba in the north region and Bomboro in the Bugold Dumoho region. In recent months, extremists have increased attacks in Burkina Faso, volatile Sahel region. A Canadian man was recently kidnapped and killed, and another Canadian and Italian are still missing. 
among the jihadist group active in Burkina Faso is Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghrib. Elsewhere, Ivory Coast former President Laurent Gbagbo was released after his acquittal on Monday by the International Criminal Court. An ICC spokesman said Mr. Gbagbo is now on conditional release in Belgium pending a possible appeal. The former leader was charged with crimes against humanity following a disputed 2010 election that left over 3,000 persons dead and 500,000 orders displaced. Still in West Africa, we brought you that President Julius Madabio of Sierra Leone has declared the prevalence of rape and sexual violence a national emergency in his country. He said those convicted of sexual offenses against minors would face life imprisonment. The move follows a national outcry over a rape of a five-year-old by a relative a year ago. The victim was left partly paralyzed by the attack. Police say the number of recorded cases of sexual and gender-based violence in Sierra Leone almost doubled last year to more than 8,500 from 4,750. Away from West Africa, United States President Donald Trump, in a State of a Nation address, announced that he would hold a second nuclear summit with North Korea's leader, Dismond, forms one of major global events over the week. President Trump at the session reiterated his resolve to build a border world. While appealing for political unity, the Republican president said ridiculous partisan investigations could damage U.S. prosperity. His primetime address came less than a fortnight after he backed down to end the longest ever U.S. government shutdown when Democrats refused to fund a U.S.-Mexico border wall. And to the Middle East, where Catholic pontiff Pope Francis celebrated a historic mass at a stadium in the capital of the United Arab Emirates on Tuesday, capping the first ever papal visit to the Gulf. The pontiff wave at the enthusiastic crowd carrying yellow Vatican flags and banners has he wrote in an open Zaid Sports City Stadium where an altar with a large cross was set up for the unprecedented open air mass. The Pope's public comment in Abu Dhabi centered on call to end wars across the Middle East and protect the right of all citizens. And finally from Latin America, the first lorries with U.S. humanitarian aid for Venezuela arrived in the Colombia border city of Chuchuta over the week as the country political crisis continued to worsen. President Nicolas Maduro has the support of the army as rejected letting into the country. Opposition leader who has declared himself interim president warned that many Venezuelans are in danger of dying without international aid. The United States announced new sanctions on members of the Maduro administration. European and Latin American members of the International Contact Group said it was crucial to restore full democracy in Venezuela, saying they would push for new elections as soon as possible. The Venezuelan military had earlier placed cargo containers and a tanker lorry across the border. And that is it on this segment. Thank you for watching. I am Ado Adamo Also. Ado Adamo, thanks a lot. And next, we'll bring you the weather forecast for tomorrow, Monday.